Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today I'm going to be showing you something that I like to call an all purpose transformer. Now, this is a specific transformer that I have found, and this transformer works very well for a variety of different purposes, and I use it in many of my projects. So in this video, I'm going to explain this type of transformer, how it works, what I use it for, and how I get it. So, let's get started. I use this transformer in a variety of my projects, including my vacuum tube amplifier, my VFD amplifier, my tube radio, and my coil gun, which you can see in a previous video. So, some of you may, may be asking, what makes this transformer so special? Well, I'll tell you. This transformer has three primary taps. Now, this allows this transformer to be used as an auto transformer, which is pretty cool. Now, if you don't know what an auto transformer is, please watch my previous video on what an auto transformer is and how it works. Okay, so let's see what's happening in this transformer. Now, on the transformer, you can see that the taps are labeled. There's 0 volt, which is one of them. There's 120 volts. And there's 277 volts. Now, this allows the transformer to be used as an auto transformer. So if I put in uh, 0 and 120 volts from the wall, I'll get 277 volts out. This allows the transformer to provide high voltages to certain vacuum tube circuits. Now also, if I connect the wires between 277 volts and 0 volts, then I will get roughly 50 volts on the 120 volt pin, which also makes it very cool. Now if I put the power between 0 volts and 120 volts, and then I read the voltage between this pin and this pin, I'll get 160 volts out of it. So now, as you can see, from the 120 volts from the wall, I can get a variety of different voltages just from using this auto transformer part. I can get uh, 50 volts, 160 volts, and 277 volts. Now this allows this auto transformer to be used to power many other vacuum tube circuits. Now it might not be as safe as using a typical um, power transformer, but it gets the job done for a very cheap price. Now for the output. So, this transformer also has three output taps, and these are all equivalent, so when you're putting the normal voltage in, you will only get 8 volts between this pin and this pin, and 8 volts between this pin and this pin, which would then make you get 16 volts between this pin and this pin. But, there's some other cool things that can happen when you change the power input from 0 to 277 volts. So what will happen is this transformer will put out lower voltages. So instead of 8 volts coming out of here, it will be instead about 3 volts coming out of here. So just by switching the, the power wire from 0 and 120 volts to 0 and 277 volts, you can get a wide range of different output voltages here. From 6 volts between these two, to 3 volts between these two, to 8 volts between these two, and 16 volts between these two. So this allows this transformer to provide a wide variety of different voltages that can be used to make lots of different things work. Now I've been talking about a lot of different power conversion ways this can be used to convert high voltages to low voltages and high voltages to even higher voltages. There's also some cool things this can be used besides just power supplies. These can be used as output transformers for vacuum tubes. So if I put a speaker between these two, it'll be 8 ohms. And then if I put a speaker between these two, it would be 4 ohms. Which allows this transformer to be used as an output transformer for the two most widely circulated speaker types, which is 8 ohm and 4 ohm. Between the 277 volts out and the 0 volts, it is approximately 2k ohms, which is a number used in a lot of different vacuum tube circuits. Now if you want to get 1k ohms, or a number around there, you can go between 0 volt and 120 volt. And so this transformer can be used as a vacuum tube output transformer, and the power supply for a vacuum tube circuit. Now just to make things cooler, if you also add a voltage into the 
input of this transformer, say from an oscillator, like in my coil gun, then it will put out a higher voltage. And so now you may be asking, how do I get this transformer? Well, I'll tell you. This transformer can't be found on eBay, or it can't be found in many other places. You can find it from industrial exit signs, which you may be thinking is a very weird place to find it. But what happens is in industrial places like schools or factories, if they used 110 volts, that would be quite inefficient because um, over time, according to Ohm's law, if the voltage is higher, then less power will be lost through heat and a longer wire. So to keep things more efficient, what will happen is these industrial places will have a step-up transformer to step up the voltage to 277 volts. And so that way, when um, the power is transferred over long distances inside these buildings, it will be more efficient, and they'll lose less power, which will make their whole building overall more energy efficient. So this transformer, what it's meant for, is so that way you can connect it to 277 volts in industrial applications, and you can still get out the voltage required for whatever purpose you're using it for, whether it be an exit sign or an emergency light, or any other, any other things. So that's what this transformer is used for. So if you find any exit signs in any dumps, which I found this certain transformer in a broken exit sign in a school dump, and what will happen is you just open up the exit sign and this transformer will be right there. So when it comes to using these bigger transformers right here, these can handle more current. And so that way they can be used for uh, tube circuits with that require more power. So, overall, this is a very great transformer, and if you ever see a transformer like this, I would recommend you grab it immediately, because this can be used as a power supply for so many different types of projects. So, this is the coolest transformer, and the most uh, useful one that i found. So, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.